This is a quick video on how to qualify commercial cleaning leads using sales volume. And this is going to be geared towards the hospitality industry. This is where sales volume will matter is the hospitality industry. So this can apply to commercial carpet and tile cleaning companies or any specialty services uh, like disinfection. That's a lot more popular than janitorial in the hospitality field. Although there are a lot of uh, cleaning businesses that go into restaurants, uh, hotels, it, it's not a, a, a huge part of the industry. So the reason we want to qualify by sales volume in the hospitality industry is higher gross sales is an indicator of how busy the business gets. And in the hospitality industry, we can have two businesses that have the exact amount of space, but far different traffic. And if we're cleaning, the more traffic, there's more dirt, more dirt, more opportunities to clean. They just need our services more physically. If, if you just think about it practically for a minute, if a restaurant, one restaurant has a thousand customers a month and another restaurant has 5,000 customers a month, then the 5,000 customers is going to have a lot more traffic. They are going to need a lot more cleaning than a restaurant with 1,000 customers a month. So that, that's the concept. But there's no way for us to figure that out. So one of the ways to do it is to go by sales volume. So we use, in this example, you know, Hotel 1, Hotel 2. They both have the same amount of space, the same amount of rooms. Well, Hotel 1 has five times the sales as Hotel 2. So we would really want to target this one and spend a lot more of our marketing dollars on this one because they are going through a lot of rooms. They are either charging a lot more money or they are flipping the rooms much faster than this one. So that means they will need to clean them more. So another example is going to be, so here I'm gonna lay this out, sorry about that. Here I'm gonna lay this out and give you two examples. Now this can apply to hospi any hospitality. I just chose hotels and restaurants because they're well known. And if you look at this, this is how we would want to filter this. This is how we would want to segment this, that we have four hotels, we have 50 hotels, we have 300 hotels, however many it is, and then filter by sales volume, you know, 10 million, 5 million, 5 million. And I don't, these aren't exact numbers. I want to point that out. I just made them up to, to, to show the point, to illustrate it, that the number of rooms can be the same, but up here, this company that has $10 million in sales, we would want to spend a lot more money on marketing to that company and visiting them far more often because they are going through a lot more traffic than this company with only a million in sales. And the same thing can apply to restaurants. All the restaurants, it would be more of uh, square feet. You can have two restaurants. They have the same exact amount of square feet. But this company here with $5 million in sales versus this company down here with only a million, we would want to spend more money on this company to get a better return on investment. See, this is what account-based marketing is all about, is trying to put the odds in our favor. So this was just a quick video trying to illustrate, trying to give you an idea of how to use sales volume and to qualify your leads.